Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of the Lua Build series. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to create a loading screen for any of your screens here in Stormworks. I'll go over all the details, how to get everything coded and wired up, and finally we'll actually put it on our example here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below and anything else you'd like to see in any of my future videos, while you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified about my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this episode. So we're back here at the creative island and you can see we've already got our example just over here. We built up in episode one and two. Now what we're going to be doing, as I just mentioned, is we're going to add a simple loading screen to this. So what I want to do is I want to have an on button that turns the screen on. It then goes through its loading screen process and then it shows us our data screen. Now it's actually not too hard to actually get sorted. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to our microprocessor. Now, if you don't already have one of these, you haven't followed episode one or two, that's fine. You can use a blank one, perfectly fine. We're gonna be using this one for my example. I've already got all this ready built into it. I actually don't need to worry about any of this just yet. The only thing that I care about is this video's signal over here. We wanna go and add a logic node on here. This logic node is a simple on and off, and that's going to be telling our system that we're on. Okay, so we're gonna add a toggle button to that later. We've still got a simple node here. Now go into our logic and we have our simple on button here. And what we want to do is we actually want to not sit. We don't want to send this video signal through. We want to send a new video signal through. So we're going to get a simple Lua script. We're going to put it over here. Now that we have two video signals and only one output, we need a video switch box. Okay, so we're going to get a simple video switch box. And we're going to tell the system, okay, this new Lewis script, which will be our loading screen in a couple minutes, will be our off. This Lewis script, which is our data screen, is going to be our on. And they're both going to go out to the outputs. Now, unfortunately, we can't just use the systems on to switch it because then it's just going to switch automatically straight away to our systems. We don't want that. We want it to go through a loading screen. And how we're going to do that is there's a couple different ways, but I find the easiest is to use an up-down counter. We're going to get an up down counter we're just going to put it over here we're going to tell the system okay if you're on we switch the button on i want this counter to go up and i want it to go all the way up to 100. okay so i want that counter to go all the way from zero to 100 i'm going to clamp it when that counter has reached 100 which is a threshold gate put it at 100 100 then I want you to switch to my data systems. If I switch the system off, I want you to reset. So we've got already our on. So when it's not on, use a simple not. Then we want you to reset and you're resetting back to zero. Okay, so pretty simple so far. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we actually need to start building the screen itself. Okay. Double check, obviously, your increments here. If you want to make it load slower, increase this to like 0.1. If you want to make it load really quickly, increase it to like 1. It's up to you. I'm going to do 0.5 for the example. You'll see later I'll adjust it and you'll see how quick or how slow it loads. Now we need to actually build that screen. Now the first thing I want on my Lua screen is I want my name. I want NJ Systems written on it. It could be anything you want. It could be a logo, absolutely anything. I'm going to write NJ Screens. I can actually get rid of all this extra stuff we don't need just at the moment. So you can see at the moment we would function on tick nothing. And then function on draw, we're getting the width of the screen, the height of the screen, and we got the screen color, which is currently green for some reason. I'm gonna make it black. Okay, zero, zero, zero is black. We're going to make the screen completely pitch black by doing screen dot draw clear. I'm gonna copy and paste that in. That now will make the whole screen completely black. The next thing we want to do is actually set our color to white, like a mild white to write our text. We're gonna use 100 for that. So that should be a mild white. Remember, values for RGB go from zero to 255. Next, we're going to do is write some text. I like to use the text box. It's just my personal opinion. It's up to you what you would like to use. Screen, draw text box at X, zero, at Y, zero, at width, Width of the box, up to you once again. I'm going to use the width of the screen. The height, let's do the height of the screen. 
and the text we're writing is going to be NJ system. Okay, NJ systems. And what's our height align? Zero and zero. That way it puts it directly smack bang in the center of the screen. You can of course test that. Press done. Press update. Yes. Make sure you put your toggle button on because we didn't have a toggle button before. Okay, so we're going to put a simple toggle button here. We're going to make sure that we go to our data and we're going to connect that toggle button firstly to our screen power, our screen switch, and also to our data node that we already got. Make sure we have electricity connected. And then we can then spawn that in. To move over to the screen, you can see it's completely off. We click the toggle button on, goes to NJ systems, go through its loading procedure and it goes to the data screen. Now that was quite quick. So as I said earlier, if you want to reduce the speed, you can come down to the up down counter and do it here with increments. I'm going to put it at 0.2. Okay. And the NJ system is written on the screen. So that's perfect. The next thing I want to do is I want to put a loading bar and I want to put a percentage underneath it. Yeah. So 10%, 100%, 30%, whatever it is. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and write that bar in. I can just skip again a couple lines. I'm going to go and do a rectangle. Okay, not filled, just an empty rectangle. I'm going to place that down. Now where do I want it? Well, let's say I'm going to do 0 plus 10. Okay, that should bring me 10 pixels away from the left hand side of the screen. What's our width? Well, it's going to be the width of the screen minus 20 pixels. Okay. What's our Y and what's our height? The height, let's do a height of five. And where do we want it to go up and down on the screen, vertically on the screen? Now this is up to you. We already have something at the center, which is at 32 pixels. So I recommend you probably use about 38 for this example. Up to you once again, and we're gonna test it right now. So once again, update, yeah. Want it in, let's see where it shows on the screen. If we don't like it, we can always move it. Yeah, that's perfect actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The next thing I want is the percentage underneath it. So to do that, back into the microcontroller again, back into our Lua script, and I'm going to go and write our percentage. So I'm going to use once again, a simple screen text box. Place that in. Where do we want to put it? Well, I'm going to put it at zero. What is our Y? We'll figure that out just now. Our width is our screen width. That's perfect. Height we'll figure out in a couple seconds. Actually, height is going to be, let's say, 7. The text is going to be our percentage, which I'll get just now. The height align, let's do 0. Vertical align, let's do 0. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is let's figure out where it's going. So in the text, I'm just going to write test. And then let's go and put it somewhere on the screen. So you can see already... I have this at 38 and it's going five pixels down. So 38 plus five here is gonna give us 43. I'm gonna do this at 44, okay? Height seven is perfect for me, okay? And test. Let's go make sure that actually goes and prints on our screen. Firm, on it in. Turn the system on. Look, there we go, we got test underneath that. Now I wanna replace the test with my actual percentage. And I've already got my percentage because that's coming from my up down counter, zero to hundred, which in theory is percentage. So I wanna take that number and I wanna put it into the Lua script. To do that, we're going to use a simple write. Okay, let's go and get a write number. We're gonna take that number from channel one in through composite. There we go. Now into our Lua script, we're gonna say that load is equal to Input get number number one. Okay, so let's go and find that. Input get number. Perfect, copy paste that in. What we're going to do is one. Okay, so load, we get number one. We're going to replace test with load. Click OK. Done. Update. Born in. Let's go over and let's have a look at it again. There we go, but oh, that's a problem. It's got all these decimals behind it. We don't want those decimals. So if you remember from episode two, we removed decimals. And how we did that is we used a simple Lua script. We used a string format. Okay, this is what we built last time. 
Now, if you didn't build this in the last episode or you're not following along, you can always just simply retype this in. It's very easy. Just simply take it. Let's copy the whole thing. Press done. Go into our Lua script. And we're going to go and add that script in. Where we have this load, comma, zero, comma. We're going to paste this in. So now we have string dot format. Percentage dot zero decimals. Okay. What's the value? Well, our value is a load. And then let's change the vertical and height align to zero. Okay. Done again. Update it again. Now it should not have zero decimals to it. Go check. There we go. Cool. So now it's going up percentages when it reaches 100%. It should, in theory, switch. There we go. It went and switched. Great. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to go back into our Lua scripts. And we want to actually add a loading bar that goes across the screen. Okay. To do that, simply go into our Lua script again. We're going to jump down again. And I'm going to take screen dot draw rectangle, copy it and paste it. All we have to do with this is add an F, which means it's going to be filled in. I want, let's say I want a red color. So I'm going to change the color here. A screen dot set color. I'm going to make it red. Uh, zero and zero so rgb g zero b zero red is the only thing showing the next thing is draw a rectangle okay it's starting at 10 uh let's start at 11 because i want to keep that one extra pixel uh this what else have we got okay height let's drop it down one height okay uh size well we want to do drop it down one size again so we're just minus we're adding one there we're minusing one there adding one there and we're going to minus one here okay let's spawn that in and let's see how that looks make sure it fills the box okay, so update on it in it should fill that whole box with red there we go perfect so that whole box has been filled with red now we want it to move we want that red bar to move as it loads that's actually really easy all we have to do is come in once again, go into our Lua script, and work out the math here. Okay, so our screen is, is 64 pixels. We've already used 11 pixels here, and we've already used 21 pixels here. Add those together, what are you left with? You're left with, I think there is 43 of them correct. Okay, we can test it out, okay, and I'll show you in a couple seconds. What we're going to do is we're going to say we have a new value okay so load b so load bar is equal to load divided by 100 times by 43 okay so that's the pixels of the bar so how many pixels is that whole bar using i said we'll change this we'll play around with this if you wanted to you could always put these in brackets okay, it doesn't really make too much of a difference okay so there we go load cool. and what we're going to do here is we're now going to say that the width of that bar is going to be this okay that's going to be load b okay perfect check errors tick done update it firm spawn in when we go over to the screen now we we'll press the toggle button Look at the bar. Bar is moving across. Moves across as the percentage goes up. When it gets to the end, bonk, and it goes and jumps on. That is a simple loading screen. Okay, very, very simple. As I said, if you get stuck, use the actual red bar, whole, 100%, then go and do your mass and add in the calculation here. As I said, we just took the number, the percentage, we're divided by 100, and we're timesing it by the size of that bar that we have on the screen. I knew it was 43 pixels across, and how we worked that out is we went 11 pixels, or 64 minus 11, and then we went and minus the 10 from the other side that we weren't using. And we ended up with 43. Okay. So really quite nice and easy how to work this out. As I said, you can add any customization you want to, add a logo on you can add your own name onto it you can add different color bars you can make it vertical horizontal you can see if i turn the system off turn it back on starts up the loading procedure again okay so it keeps on resetting it and starts up the loading procedure 
completely up to you guys on this one. I thought this is a really cool thing. Uh, when I learned it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and definitely thought this was worth a episode. But once again, as I said earlier, let me know what you guys think of this one and what we should be doing in the next one. So I think we'll go ahead in today's video over there. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you would like me to see building next and what you think we should be adding onto the system. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.